Moto GP bikes are quite heavy to ride and the only way to make through a corner at high speed is to bend the bike. This was the rider's point of view what is happening. Let's cut to the mathematical and physics point of view. How does a bike go down so low without falling? If your bike was stand still and you lowered it to one side, will it fall down? See the difference? It's the rotating tire that keeps the bike from falling down. In mechanics, this principle is called a gyroscope. To understand how it works, let's assume that the bike is turning left and you go through the turn at constant speed. Normally what happens is you experience a centrifugal force pushing you outside. The friction force acts on the wheel on the inside to balance the lateral forces. When you turn to the left at speed, this centrifugal force tries to push you to the right. You lean to the left to counterbalance this centrifugal force. The faster you travel, the more centrifugal force there is, so the further you have to lean. Well, to understand how gyroscopic effect plays a role while turning a motorbike, just have a look at this. Pretty much interesting, right? As you can see that the wheel was supported at one end by cord and rotated. If you curl the fingers of your right hand in the direction of the rotation, the thumb will point to the direction of the torque. Now, due to the earth's gravity, the wheel will move downwards. If you apply the right hand rule again, the thumb will point in the direction of a new torque, which provides the circular motion to the wheel before coming to rest. This circular motion is called precision. Same is the case with the motorbike. A balanced rider produces no turning torque. But when a rider leans to a left, a torque will be produced to the rear of the motorbike, as seen from the right hand's rule. This gives a rearward change in the angular momentum vector, turning the motorbike in the left direction. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions on gyroscopic effect, feel free to ask in the comment box. And yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay happy, stay curious.